Good morning everybody. Welcome back and welcome back to my channel The Flying Sprout. So today it is Easter weekend. <coughs> we are out in a group because we're now allowed. Joe socially distanced over there and down the bottom there is Mark and Stephen <coughs> and it's the uh, the, the group that are doing the coast to coast back together for a training hike um, however I don't exactly know what we're doing today it's a bit of a mystery hike um, we've parked at Hancross Hill and um, we've just come out of the town and off down this track um, I don't know what direction we're heading in um, or what, um, how long the tracks, how long the trail is going to be, or where we're going, because Mark is chief in charge today of leading the group, and he's picked the route. <coughs> um, and I think we've tried to find a route that's not going to be very busy. We did look at some uh, better routes, but we know they're going to be really busy because everybody's going to be out because it's the first full weekend after the easing of the lockdown so everybody's allowed to, to go out so um, we've tried to pick somewhere that's a bit quieter so um, when I know more and whether there's something to show you I shall uh, bring you back so we have reached the village of Slapham apparently white telephone box unusual and it's actually got a telephone in it which makes the change and it now looks like we're off through the church So I've just come off the trail because inside here is uh, a bit muddy an old World War oh no if I can get in with my pack on World War II bunker which looks in pretty good nick and intact if you're brave enough you could probably come on wild camping here. Yeah. That's uh, <clears throat> something a bit different. Slapham Pond and the weir and whatever. Um, we've now, by the busy, noisy a M23, Joe's just changed and put his, uh, he's taken his down jacket off and put his, uh, his new Montane wind jacket on, a wind stopper. And now we're just gonna go under the busy road and up the other side a very colourful pig so we've come across these fields you can see we well, might be able to see the other car go past on the M23 so we've come down around here through this gate up through the farm and who knows where next we are on the Sussex Ooze Valley Way I don't think we were for all of that path the first half but certainly we're going back that way or continuing that way should I say we've just come up from there 
and we're now in the village of Staplefield and there's the local church and then the others are up there we're going up so if you can see through there deer I can hear a woodpecker so just in a, like, quite a pleasant wood at the moment quite a nice track and over there look it's a nice stream down there and look at all that wild garlic I know a great recipe watch my last video if you fancy some pesto or just throw your wild garlic in a pasta dish risotto whatever there you go look at that so the mystery walk has been solved <clears throat> mark has taken us to a place that i've always wanted to go to sometimes i have to travel to london to work and whenever i travel i hate the train journey but there's always one bit on that train journey that i really like and i always i've always looked at it and thought i'd really like to go there and walk um, through it or around it or near it and that is have a look at that that is the ooze valley viaduct or better known as the balkan viaduct and i shall show you that a bit closer amazing i feel like a child in a sweet shop I know it's only a viaduct but I've always wanted to go there and I've seen it hundreds of times on the train so uh, very excited to be here oh. <laughs> You'll wait for me to fall over though wouldn't you? There you go, Balkan or Ooze Valley Viaduct. Look at that all the way through there. And this chap's agreed to be on YouTube, so he's now famous. Grade two listed. Wow, that's impressive. So the viaduct essentially is the main line that runs from Brighton through up to London. The total length of the viaduct is 450 meters. It cost 38,500 pounds to build, which essentially is the price of a brand new car nowadays. Wow. So the viaduct, excuse the noise of the cars, it's obviously a popular place. It has 37 spans, it's brick construction and was built in 1842. And you would have seen some footage there of some plaques. And I showed you a footage of going through the spans. Um, there was a chap standing in the way, but he did agree to be on YouTube. So I got his permission. I think he just liked just showing off on camera really. But yeah, I've always wanted to see that. It's amazing. Okay, so that River Ouse. Hence the Ouse Valley Viaduct. Well, I have to say that was a real treat for me. It was busy. It's a popular place and there's a, a main road nearby that you can park and walk to it. Um, but it was a place that I've seen many a time that I always wanted to go and visit. So yeah, what I didn't tell you was it was 29 
meters high or 96 feet high um, yeah but uh, quite a feat of engineering and nice to see and it's nice to be underneath it rather than stuck on a train going to the office in London on top of it so this really is a walk of surprises today because after the fire duct we've ended up at the halfway point I think which is Ardingly Reservoir which I have been to once before and I parked down there in the camper um, and I think I went for a winter walk um, part the way around the reservoir but not all the way around it on the account that it was uh, winter and it was ridiculously muddy but today is a glorious day the sun's out we're at the reservoir I'm really enjoying this mystery walk that Mark's taken us on and it looks like it's somewhere in the region of about 12 miles ish and um, I'll uh, either let you know now or I'll let you know at the end of the video what the mileage was but yeah yeah how fantastic stop for lunch what you got Steve Cup. chicken club sandwich. chicken club sandwich uh, where's Joe Joe what you got apple slices and croissants apple slices and croissants Joe's gone for the healthy uh, Mark what you got A series of muesli bars. A series of muesli bars, whatever that means. And I've got my usual uh, tuna wrap, banana, jet bowl for a cup of tea. Today's tea spot. We're now on the other side of the reservoir. We had lunch over there. Um, we just had a bit of entertainment as we were packing up for lunch and coming down because um, we went just off the uh, trail that uh, loops the reservoir because it's a bit because there was a few people and we just wanted to sit somewhere quiet and have our lunch but as we were packing up and coming down there was a uh, like a patrol boat small dinghy with an outboard on it uh, going around the outside of the lake and we realized he was checking the fishermen to make sure obviously they've got the appropriate licenses and permissions to do so and as he was checking we then saw suddenly two lads run past um, with all their fishing gear and um, as they were running around the path the chap in the outboard was uh, making chase and um, when we got to the end of the reservoir we saw the uh, the, the warden if you like and um, apparently caught them so I don't know what happened or what the consequences are but he did catch them okay so we finally reached the uh, the end of the reservoir what a place to live lovely Well, I don't think we're too far from the end, but we have been walking through some lovely places. Tranquility Woods. Oh, closing, we've got Ash Dieback. Oh. So we've made it to Nyman's, Nyman's? Woodland.
so we're nearly at the end now that was pretty much about it um, I hope you enjoyed that I certainly enjoyed it and it was very different uh, going to some different places that I've never been to before and somewhere that's a, a bit of a distance I suppose half an hour three quarters of an hour drive from my house I think we're somewhere around about the 14 possibly 15 mile mark um, I'll let you know I'll put that up in a minute uh, once I found out um, I have to say that uh, I am feeling it it's been a while since I've uh, done something um, quite as big as this um, and um, I think elevation wise I think we um, Mark said it was somewhere in the region about 900 meters so what have you got elevation wise Does it say uh, we gained a thousand well we gained a thousand meters according to Joe's feet um, oh so a thousand feet according to uh, Joe's uh, Apple watch please hit the like button if you liked it feel free to describe if you fancy it it's entirely up to you don't forget to click on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and um, I hope you have a lovely, well, sorry, you, this, is, this will be released after Easter. I hope you would have had a lovely Easter weekend. And um, I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.